welcome to tsat today's reasoning topic we are going to discuss is similarities and differences the second class see in the first class we studied about similarities and differences based upon numbers now we are going to discuss similarities and differences based upon the remaining topic that is letters and gk based similarities and differences see in the similarities and differences i already said that he will give three options that are having a similar in nature and followed by one option that is completely a different one the student should logically see the three options the similarity of the three options and he has to pick the different one now the letter based similarities and differences to answer the questions from this topic the student should be thorough with coding and decoding that is very very important the first one is coding and decoding the student should be thorough with this topic so what are the different types of coding and decoding how this coding and decoding patterns are formed how the approach towards this coding and decoding once the student know about this coding and decoding if he is thorough with this topic once he is thorough then this topic becomes very very easy for him because the questions will be of similar approach that is very very important next very very important area that student should know to do this topic very well is vowels and consonants vowels and consonants in this vowels and consonants the student should know about how many are there how many vowels how many consonants are there and the second one is how they are arranged how they are arranged the student should know both these areas so the student should know only two areas that is one is coding and decoding that is already done in the previous topics and the second one is vowels and consonants in the vowels and consonants he has to observe that how these consonants are arranged and how many are there also so without wasting time so let's see some questions based upon the format of coding and decoding and vowels and consonants for example if you see this question that is r a t rat o u t out b e d bed and l o t lot see whenever you see this type of questions if you see the words these words are already we know them for example r a t rat o u t out b e d bed and l o t lot we know these words whenever he is giving a word that we know the student first has always check the vowels and consonants this is very 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 important for example if you see this question in the option a r a t rat where is the vowel center is the vowel if you see option b out o u t out where is the vowel there are two vowels one is o other one is u if you come to option c b e d bed again where is the vowel at the center in the same way l o t lot the vowel is at the center so what is the answer b is the answer i already said that <coughs> once you are checking the vowels you need to check how many are there for example in o u t out we have two vowels at the same time how they are arranged in case of remaining three options all the vowels are arranged at the center but you see the option b the vowels are arranged to the adjacent okay so this about based on vowels and consonants let's see the next question if you see this question m 5s b 9 12 t 4 y and f 4 y there are two things are involved both letters and numbers are involved see whenever the both numbers and letters are involved so always try to check the gap between them that is very much for example in the coding and decoding we already said that m will becomes what 13 and s becomes what 19 if you see the difference between m and s how many letters are there total 6 are there if you see the number of letters only 5 but if you see this m is 13 and s is 19 and 19 minus 13 it becomes what 6 so 6 minus 1 that equal to 5 so you are having 5 in the same way in coding and decoding we know that b is 2 in coding and decoding already we studied that b is 2 and l is what 12 so 12 minus 2 so 12 minus 2 is 10 again 10 minus 1 you are getting 9 is the the center one in the same way in coding and decoding we know t is 20 and y is 25 and again what is the difference between uh, y and t 
that is 25 minus 20 that is 5, 5 minus 1 equal to 4 and what about the center letter is also 4. And in coding and decoding we know f is 6 and y is 25. So, f is 6 and y is 25. If you see the difference, the difference is here 19, 19 minus 1 should be 18. So, center it should be 18, but it is 4. Obviously, option D becomes wrong. So, your answer is option D. And what is the similar thing that is there? The similar pattern in the option A, B, C is difference minus 1. That is the similar pattern. And what is the different one? The different one is the option D is the different one. See the next question. See if you see this question, R, N, J, H, that is option A, S, O, K, G, Q, M, I, E and M, I, E, A. If you see this range of numbers, what is very important in this type of question is observation of letters is very, very important. How these letters are arranged, that kind of observation has to follow. For example, if you see R, R is what? 18 n 14 j 10 h 8 we know that once you know this see the difference what is the difference i can see between r and n the difference between r and n is 4 in the same way n and j is also 4 but the difference between j and h is only 2 right so the difference is 4 4 2 now come to option b what is yes yes is 19 o becomes 15 K 11 G 7. So, this all we know in coding and decoding, applying the logic of coding and decoding here as well. The difference will become 4, 4 and 4, yes or no? Because S and O, the difference is 4 and O and K difference is 4, K and G is also difference is 4. Now, come to option C. In option C, we are having Q in coding and decoding, Q is 17, M is 13, I is 9, E is 5. And if you see the difference, here the difference is also between Q and M is 4, M and I is also 4, I and E is also 4. So, obviously, what is your answer? Answer is option A because it is 4, 4, 2 and the remaining 3 options, the, what is the similar one? The similar one is the difference of 4, 4, 4 and the remaining 3 options. Next, see the next question. The next question is, if you see the letters of this question, the moment you see the letters, the logic that you should get in the mind is, this is based on opposite coding. This is based on opposite coding. So, in coding and decoding, already we dealt with opposite coding. So, what are the opposite letters? I know that A opposite is Z and C opposite is X. That is opposite coding. In the same way, B opposite Y d opposite w in the same way e opposite v g opposite t but if the option d in case of option d c opposite is x but it is u is here and e opposite is v here so x and v should be there but instead of you are having u and s so obviously option d becomes wrong and the remaining all are correct what is the similar thing that is there that is opposite coding in case of option a b and c next type of question. See here as well. If you see the range of letters, first of all, the moment the student sees the question in the exam, always remember he has to see the range of letters. The moment I see, see here A, C, D, F. A and what is the difference between A and C? And C to D and D to F. That is the range is important. Followed by F to G, G to K and K to L. That range you have to analyze in the mind. In the same way, H to I, I to V, and V to W. In the same way, T to U, U to O, O to P. What I can observe is, the first two letters, for example, A to C. A is 1, C is 3. So, it is increasing by what? Plus 2. In the same way, D to F. D is what? 4 and F is 6. Here also increased by plus 2. I am not considering the center one. Why I am not considering the center one? Because, if you observe the remaining options and the range of these letters, you can conclude that I have to take only first one and the third one. Now, come to F to G. What is F? 6. G is 7. So, it is increasing by plus 1. And K to L. What is K? 11. L is 12. So, obviously, it is also increased by plus 1. Come to option C here. H to I. What is H? 8. I, 9. So, it is plus 1. V is 22 and W is 23. So, it is also plus 1. 
T is 20, U is 21, so plus 1, U, O is 15 and P is 16, so it also plus 1. Obviously, our answer is option A because in the remaining all three options, the pattern is plus 1 and plus 1. Again, I am saying that why I am not taking the center one, why I am not taking between C and D because you observe the range between C and D and the range between G and K and the range between I and V and the range between U and O because all four options are following different, different ranges. So, that is the reason I avoided taking the range in the center letters. Next question. See question number 6. In case of question number 6, A, E, G, C. Here also see the range of numbers A to E, how much increase, E to G, how much change, G to C, how much change is there. Whether the same change can be applicable to the remaining options or not, you need to check out. For example, H to L, what is the range of from H to L? In the same way, range from L to N and in the same way, range from N to J. Once you observe this range, you will get the logic in the mind. So, what is the logic here? See, let us try to see here. I know that A is 1, E is 5. In the option A, A is 1, E is 5. So, 1 to 5 means how much it is increasing by plus 4. Come to E to G. E is 5, G is 7. So, it is increasing by plus 2. In the same way, G to C. G is 7, C is so, it is decreased by minus 4. So, the logic here it is, the pattern that may change here is plus 4, plus 3 and minus 4. We will check it whether it is possible for all numbers or not. For example, H to L, what is H? 8, L is 12. So, what is the change? Plus 4. In the same way, L 12, N 14. So, it also increased by plus 2. In the same way, what is N 14? J is 10. So, it is decreased by minus 4. Come to option C. Options O is what? 15, S is 19, so increased by plus 4. S is 19, V is 22, so I think it is increasing by plus 3 because 19 plus 3 is 22. And again V to Q, V is 22, Q is 17, so it is decreased by minus 5. So obviously option C is the answer because it is not following this particular pattern. Sorry, at the time, Duration, duration, duration. Time. Okay. And 15 Tarvatan and very topical Tarandugo. Okay. Let's see this next question. Let's see this question. In this question, there are four options like M, E, W, G, N. So the moment you see the question, try to see the range of these letters. M to E, is there any range? M is 13, E is 5. So, it is decreasing by 8. And E to W, E is 5, W is 23. Again, increase. Again, W to G, again decrease. G to N, again increase, right? Now, come to option B. So, first one is decrease, increase, decrease and increase in case of option A. Come to option B. P, B, drastic decrease. B to Q, drastic increase. Q, T, T, a slight increase. T to X, a slight decrease. If you see these options, I can't take the logic of difference between the letters. It is not possible here. Why? Because the moment I observe the numbers, the change is huge. Whether it is a drastic increase is there or drastic decrease is there. So once there is drastic increase and decrease, I can't take this kind of difference logic. So what I, I need to take here is, if you clearly observe these letters in the option A, E is the only vowel that is there. E is the only vowel in the option A. And the remaining three options, there are no vowels at all. So, the similarity of remaining three numbers is there are no vowels. Okay. So, next question. In the next question, also try to observe the range of numbers A, D, G, J, M. There is a consecutive increase. There is a consecutive increase here. That is A to D, increasing by plus 3. D to G, increasing by plus 3. G to J, here also increasing by plus 3. J to M, increasing by plus 3. So, what is the pattern? Everything is increasing by plus 3, plus 3, plus 3, plus 3. In the same way, come to option B. P to S, increasing by plus 3. S to V, again increasing by plus 3. V to Y plus 3. Y to B is also plus 3. Here also the logic is plus 3, plus 3, plus 3 and plus 3. Now, come to option C. H to K, plus 3. K to N, plus 3. N to Q, plus 3. Q to T is also plus 3. Here also the logic is plus 3, plus 3 plus 3 and plus 3. 
So obviously, what is our answer? Our answer becomes option D. Now, if you see here, S two V, S six nineteen V is twenty two. So plus three, V two X, it is plus two. The moment here you see that plus three and plus two, obviously this is the different one. So your answer is option D is the answer. We are going to different type of similarity in sis and differences that is based on general knowledge or vocabulary. See in this type of questions, a student should know about general knowledge, general knowledge regarding history, because he will ask questions based upon the history regarding different kings, kingdoms, poets, and wars, battles, etc. In the same way, one should know about geography. In geography, he will ask different types of forests, different types of rocks, different types of soils, and again questions based on biology. This is very very important. Because he will give similar types of diseases, or viral diseases, or bacterial diseases, or protozoan diseases, or fungal diseases, so he may ask wide range of questions, and followed by from chemistry. In chemistry, he will ask the questions based on ores, metals, non-metals, metalloids, etc., or in the from the periodic table as well. In the same way, we can expect main questions from vocabulary also as well. from the vocabulary generally you will expect the questions like synonyms antonyms and one word substitutions so now let's try to apply this general knowledge logic to these questions to get the answer if you see the first question in the first question metal and ore so the first thing is you should be in a position to relate the relation between metal and ore so what is the relation i can say this metal is obtained from ore the metal is obtained from ore in the same way ghee is obtained from milk everybody know that we will obtain ghee from the milk and in the same way we will obtain we will get gasoline from the petroleum so what is petroleum see petroleum is a different mixture of hydrocarbons so from the petroleum we will try to go for extraction of petrol diesel naphtha kerosene gasoline bitumen based by a process of fractional distillation and we know that and finally soil and earth see don't say that soil is derived from earth that is wrong why because we know that soil is derived from rock not earth from the rock yes or no whenever the soil goes for weathering weathering of rock so this weathering may be a physical weathering the weathering may be of physical weathering or chemical weathering or biological weathering so if you go with any kind of weathering so rocks undergoes weathering and forms what soil it is not from the earth so that is the reason option d is the wrong option but what about the remaining three options the logic is the the source for example the metals the source is ore the source for ghee is milk the source for gasoline is petroleum so the logic is based upon the source next question now see here in this question in this question this question is having four options like death disease milk butter grape wine and water oxygen so here also the logic is similar to the previous question why the source for example what are the source of your butter that is from milk what are the source of your wine from grape and what are the source of oxygen from water and this is bit logical why the student should know that whatever the oxygen that is present in the atmosphere right now is obtained from the water you know during photosynthesis during photosynthesis there is a process called as photolysis of water there is a process called as photo means light lysis means breakdown so photolysis of water so this photolysis of water will contributes oxygen to the atmosphere okay that is the reason water and oxygen yes we will get oxygen from the water okay generally people think that oxygen is obtained from carbon dioxide you know that plants will take carbon dioxide and releases oxygen people think like that no that is wrong whatever the carbon dioxide absorbed by the plant it is converted into carbohydrate that is c6h2n o6 and whatever the water absorbed by the plant from the soil then from that water it break down that molecule and produces oxygen and finally what is the answer death and disease is the answer okay because death is caused or may not caused by the disease next question 
If you see the next question, to solve this question, one should know about chemistry. I already said that in chemistry, mainly the questions are obtained from like ores, metals, non-metals, metalloids and alloys as well. And one should know about different types of alloys. So based upon the logic of alloys, let's try to get the answer for this. Steel and utensil. So we know that steel is an alloy. Everybody know that? Steel is an alloy of iron and carbon. So the steel is an alloy where you can make utensils. In the same way, bronze. Bronze is an alloy. So we know that bronze is an alloy of copper plus stannum that is tin. Stan is also called as tin. So this copper and tin, this is the alloy. It is used in the making of statues. Next one is duralium. So what is duralium? It is also alloy of aluminium. That is the rhythm. See the word duralium. Al means here aluminium. So duralium is the word of aluminium. And it is very light in weight and it is the most hardest substance. That is the reason it is made, it is used to make the aircraft body parts. Because if the aircraft is heavy and it is not strong, it is very difficult for survival. That is the reason it is made with duralium because it is light in weight and it is more strong. Next one is iron rail. We know that iron is not an alloy. So your answer is option D is wrong. So remaining all three are correct. So that is based upon alloys. Those students who are having the knowledge of alloys, they only can solve this question. Otherwise, this question becomes very difficult. Let's see the next question. In this question, scalpel surgeon, chisel soldier, all cobbler, knife chef. The moment I see this question, there is a surgeon, means one person is there and the instrument is there. So on the right side, you are having a person. On the left side, you are having an instrument that is used by the person. For example, scalpel is used by surgeon because surgeon uses scalpel. In the same way, chisel is used by soldier. No, this is wrong. Soldier will not use chisel. Obviously, the soldier uses gun. Okay, gun. Soldier uses gun. So here, instead of chisel, your answer should be gun or chisel. This chisel is used by sculptor. So your answer should be either sculptor. So your answer should be either gun or sculptor then it becomes correct now come to all and cobbler see cobbler uses all to stitch your shoes okay what is this cobbler see if you see this those person who stitches uh, shoe you have this kind of instrument very sharp so it is used to stitch the shoe or a chapel right so that is called as all this is all next one is knife and chef you know that chef uses knife to cut fruits and vegetables right so this answer is option B because this is not matching between the soldier. It is soldier, you should have answer as gun. Or if it is chisel, then you should be answered as sculptor. Next one. See the next question. A newspaper editor, film director, stamps, philatelist, book author. The moment you see this, what is the relation you can establish between a newspaper and editor? We know that head of the newspaper is editor, head of the film is director. Head of the book is author and what is philatelist? Philatelist means a person who collects stamps is called as philatelist. Collection of stamps, right? So that is the reason option C is not matching. And remaining all these remaining three cases, what is the similar one? The similar one is head of that profession. Okay, head of that particular profession. That is the similar thing in the remaining cases. Next question. See, in this question, Honest cheat, good, nice, extravagant, thrifty, seldom, often. To answer this question, the student should be thorough with vocabulary, English vocabulary. Then only he can solve this question. Otherwise, it is very difficult for them. For example, honest and cheat, how they are related? Honest and cheat, both are antonyms. Both are antonyms or opposite words. We can say like they are opposite words. In the same way, good and nice. The good and nice both are synonyms. Both are synonyms. Means they will contribute to the similar meaning. And in the same way, extravagant and thrifty. How they are related? They are also antonyms. What is extravagant? Extravagant means a person who spends a lot of money is called as extravagant. And what is thrifty? Thrifty means a person who is a miser. Means who is will not spend money at all is called as a thrifty. So both are opposite words. Extravagant, he will spend a lot of money. Spend thrift, we call it as a uh, spend thrift. In the same way, thrifty means extreme miser. It's called as 
thrifty both are antonyms in the same way seldom often seldom means rare and often means frequent now how they are related again they are also opposite words they are also antonyms so the what what is the answer option b is the answer because except b remaining all three are antonyms that is opposite words next one see the next question sheep bleat horse knee as grunt owl hoot the thing is here this talking about general knowledge regarding the sounds produced by the different animals okay for example horse what is the sound produced by the horse we call it as knee what is the sound produced by owl it is called as hoot what is the sound produced by the sheep we call it as a bleat and what is the sound produced by the ass the sound produced by the ass is called as bray okay and camel grunt camel grunt so it is not matching at all so that is the reason option c is the answer and the logic is based upon the sounds produced by the different animals see these questions quashorker cretinism marasmus and goiter to answer this one one should be thorough with biology then only you can answer it because all these are given are diseases for example quashorker is the disease caused by protein deficiency in case of children protein deficiency ante vallu protein teesukokapothe vache jabbu quashorker chinna pillalo in the same way marasmus marasmus is also a same type of disease because lack of protein protein teesukokapothe vastundi alane goiter goiter is the disease generally you will get deficiency of iodine ante manam tine food lo iodine lekapothe vastundi kaani if you come to option b that is cretinism because this is due to the insufficient production of hormone called thyroxine in case of children chinna pillallo thyroxine hormone sariga produce kaakapothe vachche danni em antamu cretinism antamu ante option a b c even ela ante manamu proper ga bite nunchi teeskune food sakramanga teeskokapothe vachche tv ante manam protein teeskokapothe em vastundi quashar kar vastundi అలానే ప్రోటీన్ తీసుకోకపోతే మరస్మస్ వస్తుంది అయోడిన్ తీసుకోకపోతే ఏమొస్తుంది గాయటర్ వస్తుంది కానీ క్రిటినిజం ఎలా వస్తుంది మన బాడీలో హార్మోన్ తక్కువ అవడం వల్ల వస్తుంది అనమాట అందుకని ఆప్షన్ బి ఈజ్ ద ఆన్సర్ అండ్ వాట్ ఇస్ ద కామన్ థింగ్ ద కామన్ థింగ్ ఈస్ ఆల్ ఆర్ డెఫిషియన్సీ డిజీజెస్ ద కామన్ సిమిలారిటీ ఈస్ డెఫిషియన్సీ డిజీజెస్ అంటారు వీటిని అంటే డెఫిషియన్సీ డిజీజెస్ అంటే మనం ఏదన్నా మన బాడీలో ఒక డెఫిషియంట్ ఉంటే మనం తీసుకునే దాంట్లో డెఫిషియంట్ ఉంటే మనకు ఆ జబ్బు వస్తుంది అనమాట next question if you see this question jasmine croton pomegranate and eucalyptus it is also related to some kind of biology only if you see these trees ante ipudu jasmine croton pomegranate eucalyptus avani konni chetlu anamata different types of plants manaki plants classification chuste if you see the classification of plants generally there are three types of classification yes or no ద ఫస్ట్ వన్ ఈస్ దోస్ హూ ఆర్ వెరీ స్మాల్ చిన్నగా ఉండే అంటే చాలా చిన్న చెట్లను ఏమంటామంటే మనం హర్బ్స్ అంటాం చాలా చిన్నగా ఉంటే వాటిని మనం హర్బ్స్ అంటాం అలా కాకుండా కొంచెం పెద్దగా ఉన్నాయి అనుకోండి మనం ఏమంటాము షురాబ్స్ అంటాం వాటిని అంటే ఒక మనిషి ఎత్తు సిక్స్ ఫీట్ అరౌండ్ ఫైవ్ ఫీట్ సిక్స్ ఫీట్ సెవెన్ ఫీట్ ఉన్న చెట్లను ఏమంటాం మనము షురాబ్స్ అంటాం అలా కాకుండా హండ్రెడ్ ఫీట్ వన్ ఫిఫ్టీ ఫీట్ టూ హండ్రెడ్ ఫీట్ అలా పెద్ద పెద్ద చెట్లను ఏమంటాం మనము ట్రీస్ అంటాం వాటిని మనమే ట్రీస్ అంటాం సో ప్లాంట్స్లో మనకి డిఫరెంట్ టైప్స్ ఉంటాయి హర్బ్స్ షర్బ్స్ అండ్ ట్రీస్ అని నౌ ద క్వశ్చన్ ఈజ్ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ దిస్ లాజిక్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఇక్కడ చూడండి జాస్మిన్ అనేది ఏమవుతుందంటే ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ జాస్మిన్ ఈస్ ఆ షరాబ్ అలానే క్రొటాన్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో షరాబ్ అంటే మన హైట్ ఉంటుంది అనమాట క్రొటాన్ ఇన్ ద సేమ్ వే పొమాగ్రనేట్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో షరాబ్ బట్ యూకలిప్టస్ ఈస్ ఏ ట్రీ మేము అందరూ తెలుసు యూకలిప్టస్ వచ్చేసి వన్ ఫిఫ్టీ ఫీట్ టూ హండ్రెడ్ ఫీట్ ఉంటుంది సో ఆబ్వియస్లీ యూకలిప్టస్ యూకలిప్టస్ అనేది మాత్రమే ట్రీ మిగతా అన్ని ఏమవుతాయి షరబ్స్ ఉంటాయి అంటే ఇవి అరౌండ్ ఒక మనిషి ఎత్తు ఉంటాయి అనమాట దట్ ఈస్ ద లాజిక్ అంటే ఇది మనకు తెలిసి ఉండాలి సో ఇది తెలియకపోతే చాలామంది పిల్లలు ఏమని చెప్తారంటే ఆన్సర్ పొమ్మగ్రేట్ అంటారు ఎందుకంటే పొమ్మగ్రేట్ అనేది ఒక ఫ్రూట్ కదా అంటారు సి పొమ్మగ్రేట్ అనేది ఫ్రూట్ పేరే కరెక్ట్గా నా చెట్టు పేరు కూడా పొమ్మగ్రేటే కదా సో దట్ ఈస్ ద కామన్ లాజిక్ హియర్ యూ షుడ్ నాట్ గో బేస్డ్ అప్ ఆన్ దిస్ పర్టికులర్ లాజిక్ టిల్ నౌ we saw questions based on similarities and differences with regard to letters and general knowledge see in case of letter based similarities and differences one should be thorough with coding and decoding and followed by vowels and consonants in case of 
general knowledge or vocabulary based similarities and differences one should have a thorough knowledge about general knowledge regarding various subjects and followed by vocabulary that is antonyms synonyms and one word substitutions thank you